I'm going to go through everything in the edit page toolbar. So let's go into edit page mode on our sample site here. Okay, so what is available here? We have the undo button, we have the redo button. So that's kind of self-explanatory, but um, you know, if I type in human resources and then I delete it, I can hit undo or I can hit redo. So undoing or redoing that action, which was deleting that, uh, that phrase. Next, we have the font face uh, options. We're only given six in here. We're given more in the uh, fonts and colors section of the manage site. But here we're given uh, just six. So let me just show you that really quickly. For the sentence here, let's try to change the uh, font to normal to courier. Okay. So uh, let's also change the font size. So we're given all these font options basically. Change it to 12 point, 16 point. All right. I always recommend at least, at least go with 10 point. Um, most text you'll want at 12 point, but uh, like that for, uh, for a standard paragraph or something. Don't go any smaller, it compromises legibility. Okay, so we have Courier New 12 point font. We can make it bold, we can make it italic, we can make it underlined, we can do all three. We could change the color of it to red or any spectrum in here. We can change how it's uh, highlighted, so the background color of it to blue. Um, this font is starting to look really horrible, but um, or the sentence, but oh well. Uh, we can make it a link. All right, let's check that out. New text, oh, I don't wanna do that. Well, now I'll show you how to improve all this formatting I've just done. The font, the size, all this uh, coloring and stylizing. Remove the formatting. This is like the magic button of the Google Sites toolbar, edit page toolbar. There we go, back to normal. That's what I wanted to do. All right, now the link button. How does that work? Click on link. I'm given three options here from the sidebar. A sites page, so linking internally within your website. The web address. I can link to someplace like google.com, someplace external. I can have uh, app script. Um, that's advanced, not going to cover that here. Um, so for the web address, let's imagine I do want to go to google.com and I want that to open in a new window. So it's going to open a new tab in the person's browser. So that's uh, helpful for external links particularly. Uh, but you can do it for also for internal uh, pages. Okay, so this is a link now. Uh, what else can I do? I can do the one, two, three, the numbered list. So let's start a little list here. Bread, milk, eggs. I can highlight it and make it numbers. Or I could um, start that from the very beginning. I could hit, hit the list. Oh, sorry, I need to start over here. Hit the list and start um, you know, something else. One, two, three. Okay, or I can change it to bullet points. Or I could start a new bulleted list. New list. I can indent anything, basically. So let's try an indented paragraph. All right, I'm just gonna hit the indent in button. Increase indent, it's called. Or I, I can keep doing this, actually, go as far as I want. It's kind of like hitting tab in Word. Like you get that sensation, so I'm gonna read, undo that. Uh, so if I went too far, I can just decrease the indent. So you get the point there. Um, the alignment, I can cha change the alignment from, uh, this one can be left, oh, it's already left, that one can be left, this one can be middle, this one can be right, so I'll show you what that means, it's middle, and right, okay, and I already went over the remove formatting button, the HTML button, that is advanced, we'll cover that in another session, thank you for tuning in for, to the Google Sites Trainer. GoogleSitesTraining.com. Thank you. Bye.